an army of prevaricating neighbors takes the bulletin from salivating germaphobes who cannot find the time to waste their spirit level ceremony balancing and tedious and having Thanks, spread the soils from the dust. Uh, you know, for taking the time. I appreciate it. And because uh, this is a lot of this is, is my curiosity because uh, you really, I was literally blown away with a lot of work on the album. So just, you know, congratulations. It's really well done. Oh, I really you. appreciate that. It's always nice when someone outside of the immediate circle is enthusiastic about something that we've created. So that's great. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so just so and and I mean, the, the first thing I noticed when I saw is I it was crazy when I get something from so far away, you know, from California, from I, I have no idea. I, I just put the music and listen to it. And so and then when I go and it's usually, you know, bands are trying to tour indie bands. It's that, and then I come and check you guys out and, you know, Glenn's making movies. You're a you're a Hollywood camera, a steady cam operator, and a cameraman. And so, how do you how do you find the time to do this? <laughs> well, for me, I think being in the film industry means that I have plenty of time to do okay. it because <laughs> okay. you know it's a lot of my work yeah. is searching for work, right? So okay. I have a lot of downtime between jobs, and especially you know it really started with the. Um, with the pandemic, I was suddenly left without a lot of stuff to do. And it just kind of made me take stock of the things that I had let go of over the years, one of which was Norwegian Soft Kitten. We had recorded stuff so long ago and I had never finished it. And I was like, Glenn, I'm making a commitment to you that I'm going to finish this stuff that we started. <laughs> and that's kind of how it began. And we've fortunately kept a little bit of momentum going how long have you guys have have you guys known each other how long has norwegian saw kitten been you know did you know each other before that or did is that how you started someone come up with the idea glenn, well, we, glenn I, knows yeah we first got together in 2008 to make a short film bad movies good showers and civil engineers <laughs> And then we decided to work together on the feature film to die as hard. And that was the genesis of Norwegian soft kitten around that point. That was the first song we ever recorded was the theme song to, to die is hard. And I, I always like to tell the tale that uh, the band came about over Indian buffet. We were going for an Indian buffet and I noticed Alan had some drumsticks in his car and uh, I told him I played the guitar, like, we need to form a band. <laughs> and I remember Alan saying, oh, everyone says they want to form a band. No, we're never going to form. No one ever, ever wants to put in the practice and writing the right. songs. I'm like, no, no, I'll do it. <laughs> so that's when Norwegian Soft Kitten formed. Okay, uh, that's great. As far as the, you know, the, the, your, your process, um, you know, the album, we're going to kind of talk about generally, but I'm, I'm very specifically interested in, in Set Your Watch, you know, I mean, and, and that, so the first thing I think of is, how did I mean? How did that start? Like that to me is a is the is a process. I'm really interested because that is more of a performance art work so much than a thing. And and it's you, did you come in with that with the opening weird theme with the and then the words, you know? I it's, I played it every time I play that for somebody the first time. I love to see the reaction. I mean, it's it's um because they it, they react. I just played it tonight for I had a rehearsal tonight. And I played it for one of the guys who heard it for the first time, and everyone just kind of sits there when they're done. They're just like. It takes him a second to process, you know, what just happened. So I, I, I want to know how that 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 process started. You know, who came, who started that? It's an idea that I had kind of floating around in the back of my head for a long time, and it didn't really come to fruition until we were getting ready to record stuff for the second album. But but for the second debut album. <laughs> yes, I, that's right. I, yeah, Tony dug that. Yeah, he put it yeah. like on his show. Yeah. Um. The idea that I had was a song that, you know, you have this um, constant cycle of kind of like building tension and release in, in a normal songwriting structure. And I, I wanted to try for a song that just built tension, built tension, 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 and never let go. You get these little moments where it kind of, it kind of relaxes a little bit. There's a feeling of, you get a you get a moment to breathe but you i really bring it that where that kind of drops the vocal you know there's a certain yeah. part of vocals hitting it, but it drops a bit you know the, 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 the yeah. volume in it but it doesn't really lose intent it never loses intensity the the intro is just a total misdirect right and then you have those initial yeah. kind of guitar and drum uh that punctuation at the beginning 
and then you've got the, the voice comes in and it's like you're expecting the instruments to come back in and it just never happens exactly. and that's kind of what i was going for was like the, so the reaction that you're describing is definitely what i was going for it's like what wait what like what what is happening it's, it's never like getting there it's like there's something that's building but it doesn't resolve until like the very end it comes crashing down you know yeah that was and, the idea and well it was very yeah it was well it was successfully executed um for sure <laughs> and uh and as far as as far as that too with the with the sounds the guitar sounds of the album are really good well i have an ancient pvt 25 guitar uh that we've used for all of our recordings going back to to die is hard i've had it since the 90s and I don't know. It's it's a funky old guitar. Has a great paint job on it with a whole bunch of planets and all. And you know the songs that I more come up with, I think, are kind of more straightforward. But yeah, Alan songs. I always always think when I'm working with Alan, I'm working a little bit like with Brian Wilson and the Beach Boys because I've I've seen documentaries and read about when uh, Brian Wilson was recording Pet Sounds, he'd call you know artists in record. There's their instrument and he'd call them up, they'd go in and 15 minutes later, he'd say, thanks. And they'd walk out of the studio and say, what the hell did I just do in there? And that's what I always feel like when I'm recording one of Alan's songs. He's like, well, do this. Can you do can, can, And I'm doing this stuff. Okay, play it eight, eight times quickly or play it four times slowly. And then he's like, all right, I got what I need. I'm like, what the hell did I just do right there? But then Alan turns it into gold in the mix. So. And only if the barricading neighbors takes the bulletin from salivating germaphobes who cannot find the time to waste their spirit level ceremony, balancing and tedious and having spread the soil from the dumpster to the parking lot where everyone is gathered and is raising voices, raising glasses, raising issues that they want to address on Monday's conference call. But apoplectic tally men have suffered long their dated favors, turning in their places. They report in spinning paragraphs as quickly as the porcelain had felt the weight of grinding heels. The matriarch has arms the sky and raises silence from the crowd. A flatland pitch in upper tones where registers escaping colors bleeding far away. Away from earthly fireborn quaking at still obviously is the lyrics. Is there a rhyme or reason to it? I, I pick out certain things, but is there is there a, a structure to that, or is that kind of more, more of a stream of consciousness? Or when I first thought I remember where I was driving down the road when I first thought of the idea for this song and the phrase an army of prevaricating neighbors takes the bulletin was the first thing that came to my mind. And it it is a lot of stream of consciousness although what i kind of found was that it, it's it's not all nonsense but it's sort of like um it has its own momentum that sort of carries it forward it, where i would just come up with things that seem to fit so it's not entirely random but you know, I would come up with phrases and the lyrics are all, all the words are very carefully chosen so that the emphasis of the, the, the emphasized syllables of each word falls on the downbeat. There's never like, um, you know, all, all of the words are, there's never a gap. Right. And all of the words are exactly the right number of syllables and have the emphasis in ex in like a very regular patterns. You feel like I'm just getting to a point where I understand what you're going to say and then it's you pull away, you know, I, I really like what you said. I mean, there there are themes in there that I had certain ideas about and visuals for, but I really like what you said about how you start to kind of identify your own meaning in the song. I think i think we experience a lot of things that way like we see yeah. it through our own filter we experience it in in our own way and to me even something abstract can become you know take on kind of a life of its own i mean there are things that glenn has come up with where it's like i don't i don't know if he realizes like what he's latched onto here like this is so good but it, sometimes an idea is fleeting to one person, but you know, it, there's a moment of recognition for another person. So to me, it's like, I have kind of like visuals that are sort of come to my mind when I hear the song, but the story kind of told itself in a way, if, if that's okay. not too pretentious to say. No, yeah, no, no. And on the vocals, I mean, Glenn is the vocalist generally, is is Glenn, is that you on this? Say, or is it no, both? Or? That's Alan singing that. That's one, Alan on that, only. You, but you are generally, do you generally sing the, the, 
or do, or are you like oh. Lennon McCartney? Do they split them up? Like who sings? Maybe two thirds of the songs okay. I sing. Okay. Alan sings. So okay. Yeah. Now, are you guys? Are you guys at for, formal music training? Not at all. Not right? at all. I really thought that was going to be a yes. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge music fan. Um, I, I I took a music appreciation class in college. I'm a big great, Phil, right? Philip Glass fan. Yeah, yeah, um, that's great. Yeah, I love like really technical music, and so it's definitely a, something of interest to me. But every time one of us comes up with a song i have to like look at the individual notes and be like okay now what scale is that then okay so what does that fit with like i'm i'm really behind as far as that goes and also i don't speak you know glenn is the guitarist i don't know chords i don't speak that language really okay. so i rely on him to like tell me you know what's gonna fit here my brother brian uh he started playing the guitar uh, in high school and I was too lazy to pick up an instrument. We had a band for a brief time, uh, Brian, Steve Burkholder, and I called Please Respond. And I just did the singing. And uh, but eventually yeah, I kind of got interested in it, bought a cheap acoustic guitar and started playing. And I just got a uh, guitar chord book, just a little tiny thin one and just started teaching myself different chords. So now I have like seven chords I can you know, mixed together here and there. And that's pretty much, those are the songs I write. <laughs> you can set your watch by following their voices, dropping one by one in milliseconds, choking out the turbulence of vacuum seal proposal heard by floundering, be spectacled adjudicators being inconvenient, formations having amplified, passage of reciprocation, waves of instant architecture, fanning outward into arcs transparent over memory of breathless needing punishment and fully into vinyl. If you captured any stories, you would know that integration isn't children waking, asking for an answer. What is celery? It's wastelessness begotten. It's the pounding of the teeming soil, a rapture of our integral unconsciousness from sponges. It is godlike and God's like it is celery, get over it, impossible to purchase I, you know, these from marketplace. Glenn and I both, I mean, we have, when I'm working on his movies, I, we've had such a fun time working on some of the more serious movies that Glenn has done. We just, we have fun working together, even if it's on, you know, something that's like not a joke. So I think one of the strengths of NSK, or at least one of the things that's fun about it to me is that we're not committed to just like playing out this one thing. You know, we, if we have an idea, we figure out how to make it work. You know, the, I mean, set your watch like ends in that bombastic blast beat. <laughs> And it's followed by the 10 minute long acoustic um, Copper Harbor. It's like, and then there are other songs that are, that are uh, consecutive and they have much greater similarity so it's like to me it's more about um not necessarily staying faithful to a certain tone or a certain kind of transition but like what's interesting i'm definitely a listen to the full album kind of guy like i like to yeah, go absolutely. on the whole ride and so the order of the songs is really important to me i know initially like on our first album, I wanted Ohio Dreams to be first. I thought that was going to be a great opener. Um, but I don't know what led to the decision of us switching switching it around. And it, I think it was the same on, uh, on Loan from the Universe. I think I wanted Saturday Evening to be first. Is that? Do you remember that, Glenn? I remember us talking about each album, like making the first few minutes of the album being a punch to the face. That's, yeah. that's what I remember us discussing. <laughs> Yes, that was certainly true on the latest one. You've got like four songs in a row that are uh, that are um, really high energy. Um, but yeah, I mean, just like like going back to what you said before about kind of taking your own meaning from the bigger picture. Like to me, the album has a shape to it. You know, it's not something I could really articulate, but there's a shape to the whole thing, and it kind of takes you on this journey um so yeah we definitely put a lot of thought into the order of the songs more just on the, on the nuts and bolts end of it um it was everything you know engineer produced mixed you guys did everything yourselves in there up to the release of the product uh what is your primary workstation with logic yeah that's what tony said i'll probably he's logic he's like he uses logic uh, <laughs> as far as your 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 heart your plug-in your your emulator yeah, what do yeah you, so what do you like that's a tough one to answer i'll tell you i thought i had finished 
mastering the latest album and I had, you know, my fancy professional mixing headphones. And then I'd listen to it in the car, I'd listen to it on my on my earbuds. And I was like, this is just so hollow. Like something is completely missing. You know, mm -hmm. I'm still very much a beginner at this process. And so I just went back to reference tracks and like, mm -hmm. what is the what is the spectrum here? Yeah. Like, how can I make this much fuller, much fatter? Like clearer but also more aggressive where it's needed so i kind of just listened to songs that i liked yeah. and just a lot of eqing just like right. figuring out okay i can see where i need to cut out some of the guitar there and you know there are songs um on the first album like glenn's song release that has a totally different tone you know it's very airy it's very washy and you know he wrote that with um a specific style in mind so i'm not I'm not saying i have to just put a blanket over the whole album and make mm -hmm. everything sound the same but right it being you know cohesive um in a lot of ways i think makes sense i, I mean i use like i use the isotope plugins neutron ozone um you know, I've got my own little techniques for like uh, you don't routing. Have away, you don't have to give away that you don't have to give away the, the magic. You know, <laughs> so, oh, there's there's no magic. It's it's just what I've learned from from everyone else and from listening and from reading about how to do things. I mean, I've watched so many countless videos and articles about how to do things, yeah. and then you get in there and you're like, wait, what do I do? And you just have to start experimenting. Like you have yeah. to do it. It's the ear. Yeah, it's not the gear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's definitely it. So do you have anything um, in the process, the next album in the works? Or you've been talking about anything happening with that? We do have uh, our third album is being mixed right now. Oh. Nice. Okay. Probably yeah, 15 or 16 songs. Okay. It's oh, gonna be excellent. it's gonna awesome. be pretty good. I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh now i'm all excited that's great oh that's fantastic there is definitely one of the best things i've heard for sure so. i i can't say how much i appreciate hearing you say that i mean it's i i don't know about glenn but i just do this for myself i find it right. very fulfilling to be creating things and to be collaborating with another person and you know we're each bringing different or different perspectives and our own strengths to this and to hear that it resonates with someone is very satisfying. So I really appreciate that. You guys are rock fans? I mean, has it been yes, or is it is it the cinematic and your movie, um, you know, experience that gives your work the, a the, it's kind of theatrical, you know, bent to it? I would say our song "Full Moon Raging" would fit in there, and uh, it's certainly a prog rock song. And I, I like to tell people. Uh, you know, it's kind of has that 1972, 73 big prog rock sound. Yeah. And yeah, I started writing it and Alan came in, had more lyrics and all. And uh, it just kind of grew and grew. And I kind of like the theme of darkness and, and like in full moon raging, going deep into a castle and kind of dramatic yeah. in that regard. And uh, yeah, certainly in, with full moon raging, went for the prog rock, huge yeah. sound. Yeah. and. Watching in silence, echoing backwards. Voices are empty, chambering in winds, carrying me deeper. Sunless drifting in.
about the four minute mark at the culmination <laughs> of the song. So for this album and just generally, but specifically this album, did you have a specific amp you use more than that? Do you have a general rig or did you, or the sounds a little different? Because it's a, the, amp, the guitar sounds really good. The guitar sounds very good. It's yeah, all DI. It's all DI and amp sims. That's awesome. <laughs> that, yeah. That makes it a lot easier on everybody. That's we awesome. have recorded, uh, we have mic'd Glenn's amp for. And that, what um, amp is that? What, what does he, what do you use, Glenn? I have an old crate amp that I, <laughs> that I got when I got the PVT 25. <laughs> so, That's yes, right. those two have gone hand in hand for three decades now. That's awesome. Yeah. We've That's only awesome. recorded one or two things with it. Do you remember? Do you remember one of the things that we recorded? Was it to die is hard theme? No, we recorded like five minutes of feedback <laughs> because I was like, I, I, you know, we've got these amp sims and, you know, the sound is pretty good, but like, I want to be able to mix in some feedback now and then to right. like, because you can't, you can't right. get that with an amp sim, or at least I don't know how, maybe you could, I don't know how. Most of the time, it's just DI. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's good. And that's good. That's because that'll spark a discussion, you know, on that because I, I'm pretty sure that, uh, that they were pretty sure that that was coming out of an app. Do you guys ever uh, get out to the East Coast? We have not performed live. And uh, that's one of the things Alan and I have talked about. Since it's just the two of us, like, what do we do? Do we hire you know, five other musicians to fill out the band? Do we play a lot, have some recorded music, play some live? And we've talked about rather than having possibly Norwegian soft kitten concerts, we would have the Norwegian soft kitten experience because we have no idea what a, a live performance would turn into. And, and I'm from the South Jersey area. I would love to get to the East coast and Philadelphia and all, and that would be I, great. I, if you guys can get out here, I mean, I can, I can put together the, the, the couple guys you would need to put it together and have that band ready. We can do it as a, as a WDNF at the live broadcast, video tape it, record the performance, set up a couple shows. I mean, we'll make it worth their while to come out. That would be fantastic. I mean, Oh man. Be, well, now the pressure's on. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, I think it would be so much fun to play, but you know, like you were saying about some of the songs, you know, I try to make the song as, the sound as huge as possible adding you know orchestra orchestral parts and all that kind of stuff i wouldn't want that to be missing sure. from the kind of from the live show so yeah that's we can, that's we, can do, we can do we can do what you whatever you need <laughs> <laughs> it's that the technology is wonderful today have some fun that would be awesome to, to bring norwegian soft kitten to the east coast <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. All right. Well, guys, I don't want to keep you too much longer. Um, I really appreciate it. You know, thank you so much for this, uh, for the taking the time. You know, congratulations. It's a great album. We're going to be listening to it and playing it for a long time. And I'm and I can't wait for the next one. You're welcome, Jim. Thank you Thanks so much. much. Yep. All that right. Means thank a you lot so much. Talking to you soon. And um, what's Brooklyn getting you out this way, guys? Thanks Sounds so good. much. All right, have good. a great night. Thank you so much. Yeah, take care. Bye. Take care. Goodbye. Barricading neighbors takes the bulletin from salivating germaphobes who cannot find the time to waste their spirit level ceremony balancing and tedious and having spread the soil from the dumpster to the parking lot where everyone is gathered and is raising voices, raising glasses, raising issues that they want to address on Monday's conference call. But apoplectic tally men have suffered long their gendered favors turning in their places. They report in spinning paragraphs as quickly as the porcelain had felt the weight of grinding heels. The matriarch has arms the sky and raises silence from the crowd. A flatland pitching upper tones where registers escaping colors bleeding far away from earthly fire born of quaking and still by her and by her and trans by her and shrine by ever calming presence of those hands that held us when we saw our lives among these turning families. Repeating patterns given forth into concrescent names We set our feet at inward angles You could set your watch by following their voices Dropping one by one in milliseconds Stroking out the turbulence of vacuum seal Proposal heard by floundering Be spectacled adjudicators being inconvenient Formations having amplified Passage of reciprocation Waves of instant architecture Fanning outward into arcs transparent over memory Of breathless needing punishment And fully into vinyl If you captured any stories You would know that integration isn't children Waking asking for an answer What is celery? It's wastelessness begotten It's the pounding of the teeming soil A rapture of our integral unconsciousness From sponges It is godlike and for God's sake It is celery Get over it Impossible to purchase these
from marketplaces further north by hampering the chamber and the cellular bucolic mole of effervescent demonstration seemingly incapable attrition sourcing delicate and half the time it takes to chew but these are not masses and these are unheard of when telling and searching for pointlessness I found the cause of intrusion on barriers weakened by listless returning invariably for the first time we copied a line from a book that it shed all its lava and 18 accounts of becoming reversal becoming a vertical landscape of popular sensory tenses ignoring the case for the moment that most of our letterhead features a flare and resembling prominent figures and animal husbandry deathly delights that we all deserve but for the cost of our raising these points among citizens having no influence over the flow of such waterways as the one being created by constant reversal of delicate fortune. We're forced by early minds to suck the life from your temple dawn is symbiotic mercy killing pressuring the nurses but by prisoners I think you mean the concept inescapable there aren't any boxes left we won't have any silhouettes be hidden from the scourge infected structure that we're hearing now a resonance to disobey beyond the normal contravention sort of like the way you find a quarter in the laundromat and fail to change your path along the way to the detergent but we're tipping over from the weight of liquid parasitic brain that's challenging our inner notions of collapsibility they want behemoth recognition built into security the funds for which are easily appropriated from a lasting helium retrieval magnet left there under fertilizer annual aeration scones and other miscellaneous that were never cleared from budgets of the previous administration just as fit our image of their wasteful use of mumps and I've forgotten this before just how it's true elaboration waits on precipices drawn between the mode of isolation why we ever turn the canvas to reveal the hidden passages I'll never understand but we saw multiple reclaimers born inviting all who gather here to join us in the task of ruination that can wreck outstanding doorways to insolvency above a certain land is where the tally men will all agree we have to take our focus off superfluous reconnaissance the capillary action of a finder keep your loser reaper knowing you could set your watch by listening to findings from the helium retrieval process just confirms we're living in a simulation running in the mind of possibility designed to quickly separate the nature of an inquiry from what's spoken reprimanding anyone who calls it forth before the rest of us are ready with our excavation. We only have a moment to record the current depth.